All right, I've got your plan open in X12, and I'm just going to look at the roof. And so here's what we've got so far. Nothing. And so I'm going to open up the build roof dialog, and looking at your pictures, I'm just going to guess that this roof is 10. I'm going to raise it 12 inches. And uh, it's important to set these defaults before you start working on the roof, either doing manual or automatic roofs, because they both abide by these defaults. And looking at the pictures. We're on the first floor, so I'm just going to draw some manual roof planes. Join those two together. If you click right here, and then you click on this dimension, if you enter a minus 18, that'll bring that roof plane outside the wall 18 inches. And then I'll just drag this one over and snap it in place. And then back here, join these two. And it looks like you've got a little roof over this. Join all these. Minus 18. Looks like I probably did something wrong. And then we'll put a roof over this. And join these. And then we'll take this and put a break right about there. Put one in the middle. One over here. Join that to that. Yep. I'm going to undo. Now I'm going to join that to that. That to that, that to that, that to either side, doesn't matter. We'll do the same thing over here. Select this roof plane, break, break, break. And join that to that, that. To this, join these ridges, and then join this. All right, this one's going to come up. I'm just going to Break it in here someplace. This is going to come up. And then I'm going to go up to the second floor. 
And I think I think this needs to come back this way. Something like that. And let's see, this gets a this gets a roof over here. I'm just gonna pull this back. I'm going to break it. I'm going to reverse this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a roof plane over that. Connect these two ridges. Select this. Do that. And then this needs to come out this way. And it needs a break in it. Um, right about in here someplace. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to take this roof plane and I'm going to click this display on four above. This is my edit toolbar. I've just got it docked up here at the top. And now I can take this and join it to this. And then this needs to come out here. Let's make that 18. This needs to go up against this wall. This needs to come over to here. So let's take a look. Alright, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Technical Illustration. I'm going to come over here to 3D and Toggle Patterns and that just cleans everything up so we can see what's going on. Looks like you've got some roof or wall alignment issues in here. All right, so this needs to come back, and there needs to be a roof plane in here that angles up. So down on the first floor, That's the roof plane I just drew, and it needs to be over over there. Looks like it needs to be changed a little bit. So let's just roughly break this one right in here. So I'm going to run this one up against the wall here. I 
And I think I'm going to move this one up. You can see it's a little bit too low right there. I'm just going to move it up, just guessing at 8 inches. When I'm doing roofs, I usually turn off things like gutters. They just get in the way. Now I'm going to join that. Well, let's see. I'm going to break. I'll put a break down here. I'll join this to this. And you can see it's just a little a little bit high. Rejoin these. And then join the top of this to this. Looks like you got some crown molding there. Okay, we're on the second floor. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to select... I'll select these two walls and that wall right there. And I'm going to make them... Maybe I'll just do these. Make these no room def. And that makes this all one big room. And then I'm going to make the ceiling height 36 inches. And then when I draw wall or roofs, these roof planes will conform to that. Looks like they need to be lower. This comes down pretty close to the bottom part of that window. But I'll just leave it there. Okay, let's drag this up.
Put a roof plane here. And we need one over here. Join that to that. And then put a break right in here. Join that to that. And then this I'm just going to drag across for right now. And then we'll join that to this up here. Join this to one of these. Put a break right in here. Put a break in here. Just join to this to this. I'll put a break here, one in the middle, one over here, and then we'll just drag this up. I'm going to put a break right in here. Join this to this. Okay, I'm going to pull this out and get it pretty close just to the front of this. And then I'm going to see if it'll join to that. And this needs to come join that to that. All right, this needs a break. I'm going to come back over to plan. So this needs to come up against this. Let's see if we can get this roof plane right there. It needs to come back. We can fix this. Don't need that exterior wall there. Actually, I think you do, but now I think I think that there's something wrong right here. You can see that sticking out and I don't see that. I don't see that over here.
So what it looks like is it does something like that. I'll go back over here to put some color. It's just hard to see up in there exactly what's going on. The exterior wall there. Looks like we need to fix this up here. I'm going to go back to technical illustration break this here put a break right there drag this up just a little bit And join it to this. Alright, so I think that's pretty close. You need some, um, some returns in here. Like that. And it looks like, um, it looks like this roof right here needs to be raised up to match this. So this has a seven and a quarter inch fascia, so I'm just going to I'm going to raise this and this up seven and a quarter. Rejoin these. Rejoin this to this. And then we need to fix this. Okay, you need these uh, little returns here. Those are easy enough to do. The program will do those automatically. Looks like you need a, a porch roof here and this little overhang here. I'm going to call that um, good enough. This is a room right now and it doesn't need to be. So I'm going to select this outside wall, open it, um, or Let's try this. 
I'm going to make it an attic. Yeah, and that got rid of that trim. Um, it looks like you don't have toggle edge smoothing when idle on. I'd leave that on all the time. That just cleans up the the image. Let's see if I can't find this. All right, so I'm going to call that good. I don't know what's going on in this little this little corner up here. You can go in. You can select this, select this. Uncheck no room def. You can make this back to the default. You can make this back to the default. And that's the default. Let's delete that. Looks like this corner needs a little work. All right, you see how this is all jagged looking? If you open up the camera, um, I'm going to turn off ray-casted sun shadows. We don't need reflections. We don't need bloom. And I'm going to take this ambient occlusion and I'm going to run it down to about 12. And you can see how that cleaned that up. All right, I'll leave the um, the cleanup work to the to the people doing the work. <laughs> 